Well, there's that moment that it feels good to be back again. I am back, and I've actually gone through a lot of changes lately, some of which are going to involve my LPs. One, you may notice that I'm using Luna Lua for this particular episode. Yeah, the title screen's a little bit laggy, but everything else seems to be okay. Another thing, I am also using a different controller. So, let's begin the Tower Biased X. Might as well call it that for Super Mario Bros. X. Actually, it's the Tower Bias 10, but call it whatever you want. Call it the Tower Bias... Uh, okay, maybe not Alpha. That would be a little insulting. Beta might be the same. Hmm. I think the Tower of Bias 2 is setting in right now, This, because this looks oddly familiar. So, let's see if we can read this. The Land of the Free. That is kind of we. Oh, okay. It's because I wasn't jumping that I wasn't able to read that. The Land of the Free. In order to access this, the power of a green star is required to open this door. So we have a choice between going up or down. If we're going to have joke levels in a Tower of Bias, I suspect we would have to go down first. We can't go any lower, though. Time for some soda, or maybe not. It's out of order. The Hall of Champions. Okay, so we're going up first. <laughs> you think that all the you think that all the joke stuff would be buried in the basement, and the Hall of Champions would be high in the sky. That's just how I would go. A tier one, right there. But is there anything to the right? Well, tier two, but of course we need green star power in order to be able to do that. Here we go. You are talking. The munchers above the doors indicate the level's difficulty. If there is one muncher, the level is easy. If there are three, the level is hard. There are sometimes exceptions. Horrible, horrible exceptions. Like that one with 12 munchers right there. Thanks for giving me an indication in advance, though. Because, uh, that might tell me how long I have in order to... Well, how long I am going to need in order to be able to play this level. Eight flight! Really? Rock bottom? <laughs> A very short puzzle level, the sequel. Point one to, let's just say, one-eighth of a point out of ten. But it has one star, so... You actually have to suffer through it. Here we begin, and that was quite the puzzle there. Could have gotten stuck for a little bit, with my luck. Well, here we go. But, doesn't seem we're going to get any reviews right away. We can collect the mushroom, though, after completing every level. The next one right here... Oh, if I can jump through this. Meow Flash Switchcraft. We're suddenly jumping from one-eighth of a point to 1.5 points. So, Switchcraft, switch things up, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Well, of course, just normal stuff until maybe this. The Magic P-Switch. I want to collect this Fire Flower first. And see that once we do this, we enter and... Hmm. Very well. It's not gonna be... Wait, wait, wait. I still hear the P-Switch sound effects and... Okay, we're really gonna be running? We're gonna need it. Hmm. Are we really going to have to wait that long? I... Okay. So we really do have to wait because... I don't want me to break anything. Probably could have broken something because we have that. Okay, then. So... It really does not seem like it's set... Well, maybe... Maybe there's going to be something else to it. I'm gonna press this P-switch right now, and there is nothing there unless we can go back through this. Nope. <laughs> it's just that simple. Of course, you'd put the halfway point right before the star. Maybe that was intentional, I'm not sure. Again, halfway point before the star. Some levels are optional mostly because of how much of a pain this level is to complete. It wouldn't be fair to make it mandatory. Wait, again, this only had one star to it. Well, here we go. Super Mario 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, The Enemy's Castle. And this one has 12 munchers, but I'm gonna give it a try. In the first part... 
Okay, due to the content in this level, I was wondering if I should actually include it in a first part and contemplating to myself, and I actually decided against it. So, I'm going to include it a little later on. And I'm going to skip to this level right here, Flying Beach. 2.16 out of 10. Not that much better, but as we can see from the number of munchers, it's going to be easier. And here we go. So, Flying Beach. Have to wonder what's going to be in that. <laughs> yeah, I, get, I saw it there. That's definitely going to be a Flying Beach. And all sorts of colors, too. Hmm. Still nothing- whoa. Ooh. Still nothing to indicate anything like a joke level yet. So... Hmm. Except maybe for its length. <laughs> so that was really short. That must be why it ended up here. I guess I made the right call to skip. On we go to the next one which is right here. It's going to be more difficult, but it's going to be a mandatory one. So so let's make it more difficult by not even reading the name. Or let's not... Maybe it was a good thing I skipped it. England 1970. <laughs> well, at least with that one death, that gives me... That gives me an opportunity to read the level name itself. This also gives me an opportunity... Okay, so I may not be here for long... Damn, <laughs> Origins. Funny one to actually skip here, so let's go back into Spam Origins and try to beat this level, because I kind of have to if I want to do all the extras, if there are any. So it said England 1970, of course, but I saw, uh... Wait. Uh... <laughs> yep, definitely the right call to skip. I will be saving the one below for next one. I, again, want that mushroom. Hmm. Spam those mushrooms, why don't you? So fitting to have spam origins here. One more try. Then I might consider cutting video if nothing works out here. Wait. Okay, so I am small. England, 1970. So as far as I can tell, those aren't deadly. Can you believe that there's so much spam here that has gained sentience and is trying to kill us? If it isn't a prime example of wasteful government spending, I don't know what is. If you see a Hungarian saying nonsense statements, don't worry, he just ended up with an inaccurate Hungarian English phrase book. <laughs> okay, calm down, it's only spam. The worst it can do is kill our taste buds. Okay, so if it's gonna be like the Rinkas. And that means I won't have to worry too much. I swear, we have more spam per capita than the United States. I'm beginning to get sick of all this spam. <sighs> to give you an idea just how much spam we have, this used to be a bottomless pit, but when that delivery truck crashed and half of the spam it was carrying fell down this hole, notice that the pit is no longer bottomless. My son fell in that pit, and I can't walk through this. And I'm going to have to jump up here, I believe. So let's... Wait. Wait. What other sound am I hearing? In the game, that is. Freaking spikes. They're, they're so annoying. We almost have as many spikes as we do spam. Okay, that's an exaggeration. We don't have that many spikes. <laughs> There's such an excess amount of spam here. If <laughs> only there was a word that could adequately describe the needless overabundance of a single item. <laughs> well, I can't think of it either. <laughs> now that I've had the time to absorb it, I can hear what's going on in the background. Not enough time to absorb it, though. I don't know how I'm going to make that jump. Again, this is kind of spammy, as was intended here. I can't see... It's kind of hard to tell where the Rinka's... or the Rinka spam is going to shoot. And when it's going to shoot. I really wish I could see the spam ready to fire first. Because I hate these jumps so much. Oh, that's kind of the point, I would think. Ooh, I made that one, actually. 
But, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I thought that was gonna be solid. All of these spikes make commuting to work such a pain. If someone could invent some kind of shoe that allows one to walk safely, safely across spikes, he'd be rich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe he would. Okay, that worked. Oh, and suddenly I'm not even dying anymore. Here, too, oh, except for maybe a crushing. Okay. You know what? That is enough of that. So, if it works. Yep, since I heard the sound, you can probably tell what's coming. I've gotten several game overs here, meaning that I just don't want it to happen anymore. As soon as we jump, we'll see. And you'll know what's coming. There we go, because I can't take any more. I've already lost, I think, uh, 15 lives to this level, which is clearly meant to be a joke. <laughs> and I don't feel like doing it anymore. I just feel like getting through this. So we walk across the spikes. Whoever invented this code would be filthy rich. Hmm. So finally we are... Wait! Stop! Wait, yeah. You have to evacuate the spam! They've... They've... Uh, they've... Huh? Whoa! Spam monster! Attack the eyes! So I guess I will try to attack if I can reach, if I can get past. How do I... How do I attack, then? Is there anything to grab? Okay, I do grab that. That's how it works. <laughs> so, Red Digit is cool again after all that spam. Probably wouldn't tolerate such a thing. Anyways, I've finally gotten through it. I don't want to get crushed now. I'm going to have to start over something like that. I'm tearing through something. Ooh. Wow. Wait, wait. I think I hear what's playing in the background now, so, uh, where should I, where should I stand right here? <sighs> Nothing intended in relation to the song itself, just, uh, hey, hey, let me at least crush this. I'm going to have to input a cheat code again. Maybe I will. Oh, but I'm not dying now. Maybe you suspected I was going to cheat. <laughs> oh... No, no, no. Ugh. Great. Well, again, you probably weren't expected to make it that far anyway, so... I'll give you that one. I still want my star, though, and I still want to be forced up somehow. Get me back up there. That's probably not gonna happen. So I didn't have to use a cheat code to break myself out of that little trap. I might actually be able to beat this battle. Though, I couldn't beat the actual level because I had to use Don't Hurt Me in order to do it. Just get rid of all this spam. It's hard enough just to be able to pick these up and not lose them. Still, I like the effect I'm seeing with all the knives there. Wait, wait, they're moving down. I think they're moving down. Okay. I will get... Oh, we have even more now. Great. Just great. <laughs> but that's kind of the point. <laughs> Someone is really sick of spam, obviously, and wants it all to end. I kind of want all of this to end. If only I could just tickle the eye like I've done before, because I, based on what I saw, it acts kind of like Mother Brain. So... <sighs> And I don't think I can even beat the battle, honestly. So... There. I've had enough of this. I really need to get that. I'm not gonna lose it here, because there's nothing that's crushing me. I just need to be able to pick it up now. Is it really gonna be that hard, though? I worry it is. So, let's... Uh... <sighs> At least keep me up there so I can pick up that hammer suit. Of course not. So I guess I'm gonna have to type it again. So there. Because you won't deny me of it. 
There we go, finally, because I've had enough. Haha, <laughs> and I'm making up for all those lives I lost here, which is kind of awesome. <sighs> this will be done with soon. And I'm getting tired. <laughs> Can I talk to you now, Toad? Nope. There we go. There we go. <sighs> that is how a first part should be in the Tower of Bias series. So, we will do this level next time. Well, technically, I've already done it. Or played it. But, maybe I just spoiled something there. I don't really care anymore. Consider that to be part one and a half. <laughs>